Donald Trump called it three and a half years ago, and nobody saw it last night, and nobody is talking about it. How many of you noticed a very different Joe Biden? If you've ever been around somebody at this age, you would know exactly what's going on. And the left doesn't want to talk about it. Even the right doesn't want to talk about it because they want their talking points. But the real story was pointed out a long time ago by Donald Trump himself way back in 2020. We're going to show you this in today's video. But first, as always, I want to say thank you to everyone who continues to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, where yesterday, news alert, we dropped a brand new video talking about this upcoming speech and how it was going to be all about money and how you get it and what you would do to earn it when things eventually fall completely apart. But the real story of that speech now is going to be something that the rest of the world is going to bring up and everybody's going to ignore. Now, let's jump in the Wayback Machine, all the way back to September 27th of 2020. Donald J. Trump, quote, I will be strongly demanding a drug test of sleepy Joe Biden prior to or after the debate on Tuesday night. Naturally, I will agree to take one also. His debate performances have been record-setting uneven. To put it mildly, only drugs could have caused this discrepancy. The Joe Biden that came out last night was zipped up on some kind of pharmaceuticals, folks. I don't know what the cocktail is, but I know a lot of us have seen it. Just going to tell a quick anecdote of my own. Had a grandfather that was in hospice care years ago. Um, had polyps all over his lungs, emphysema, not in good shape, but once in a while... They would come in with some magical little cocktail or something, and he would perk right up, and he couldn't talk as loudly as he did when he was younger, but he was fully lucid, and he was right there with you and laughing and joking, and it was only for a short time. It was only for a short time. I remember the last conversation I had with my maternal grandfather was uh, very uh, normal, and it was only a matter of a couple of days, and he was gone. This This is what's going on now. As an aside, as an aside, real quick, the response, and this is something that will kind of make you laugh a little bit, um, Katie Britt, the response, and Mike Johnson, his demeanor, how many of you, how many of you out there watched True Blood way back, 2008, 9, 10, that era, there was four or five seasons, I know there was a lot of uh, really um, salacious and horrible imagery and graphic stuff and the whole vampires and werewolves thing but there were two characters two characters in the series true blood that i swear these two could be absolute stand-ins for who remembers the newlands who remembers sarah and steve newland from the fellowship of the sun in true blood now, those of, you, the, those of you out there who have seen it, there's a whole lot of people out there right now falling out of their chairs, laughing their asses off, going, holy crap, Mucky, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Absolutely hilarious. They could have totally, especially Katie Britt with her demeanor. It wasn't what she said. and didn't disagree with a lot of what she said. But her demeanor and the way that she delivered was classic Sarah Newland from True Blood way back in 2008. Now, she would have been, I'll see, she's 40-something years old now, so that was 16 years ago. So she would have been in her early 20s. Something to go look at if you want a little bit of a chuckle. But this is a screenshot from way back in 2020 of a video that YouTube basically forced me to delete that showed, and I noticed this because I was watching it on big screen, purple lips. The uh, President of the United States had purple lips lips and when he closed his eyes uh purple eyebrows his hand something was not right he was definitely on some type of a medication looked exactly like some type of an opioid overdose the real story though is this and those of you on the left need to come to grips with and accept this fact it is perfectly normal and expected that a man in his 80s 
would lose train of thought, would have outbursts of anger, would sometimes forget where he was and what he's doing, might make up stories and jumble other stories together from his past and um, have just non and say nonsensical things. Lots of us, lots of us have had elderly relatives in these states, and it's not uncommon. You know, it doesn't it doesn't make you know him unusual. You know, the the Joe Biden that's been walking around and kind of stumbling around and incoherent and kind of not knowing where he's at is what you would expect from a man in his eighties. It's absolutely what you'd expect for a man in his eighties to even be awake much less in front of lights and speaking at nine o'clock at night, there ain't, ain't very many. There ain't very many that can do it sober. Any doctor, every nurse out there will agree with me. Even in their, even men and women in their late sixties and seventies have a hard time even staying awake past nine o'clock at night. And the idea of needing notes and needing cheat sheets and all this kind of stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely, this is to be expected of someone that age. So no one is saying that these he's abnormally in, in some kind of state of dementia. It's just part of the age to, to feel like you're in a cloud. I'll be very honest with you myself. Being in my you know early to mid-50s, I can stay up past 9 o'clock pretty easy, but by you know, 10, 10, 30, that's about it for me. You know, I don't, you know, 11 o'clock, I just don't see any point in it. And it doesn't matter when I got up, whether I slept in late or whether I got up early. You know, by the time you get that to be that age, I don't think I have to convince anybody of this. That's that's an abnormal thing. But he has also said this, and he referenced it last night. I will ban assault web quote quote <clears throat> assault weapons before I am out. So just saying, America. There's going to be a moment coming, and I'll just let this picture speak for itself. There's going to be a moment coming, but ask friends, ask relatives about any of them. If they have any relative that they know of who's sober with no help from any type of medication can stay up and be lucid to talk to even at 9 or 10 o'clock at night, and that he continued on past well past the end of the speech, talking and having pictures. Come on. At 80, they they had him on something. And I'm just saying, a year and a half ago, three, pardon me, three and a half years ago, all the way back to September of 20, Donald Trump called this, that there was something way too up and down about Joe Biden. And while the left is... You know, lauding Scranton Joe is back, and boy, he delivered a strong performance. They know. They know. Anyway, I will leave it there. Um, but like I said, I don't want to pick on these two cats too much because I agree with a lot of what they say. But their demeanor, um, their delivery, the way they act. Guys, if you've ever watched True Blood, from and it's a long time ago, it's a long time ago, but you don't have to get very... It's season two and three, basically. If Katie Britt was a blonde, if Katie Britt was blonde, honest, she could be sisters with... Uh, the, the actress's name is Anna Camp. I don't know this actor's name. Um, but their demeanors, the way they act, the Fellowship of the Sun, um, honestly, Mike Johnson and Katie Britt did it in spades. Absolutely. It couldn't have been, uh, if it was a Saturday Night Live skit, it would be trying to, to mimic these two. They should get these two, Saturday Night Live should get these two uh, back, if they can, to do Katie Britt and uh, and Mike Johnson, because from Fellowship of the Sun in True Blood, because it's funny, and we've got to take every chance we can to, to laugh a little bit, and I even think Katie and Mike would probably laugh if they had seen the show. Um, the very over-the-top, emotional, breathy, um, you know, char the character with every emotion coming through in the eyes and the face and all this that uh, that Katie Britt did. I, it's not like I don't agree, disagree or... I don't agree with everything she said, but I don't disagree with a lot of what she said. It was the delivery. So I'll leave it there. 
God bless. Thank you guys so much for the support of Patreon. A dollar a month, that's it. One single US dollar per month gives you access to hundreds of videos. Hundreds of videos going back years and years, never before seen on YouTube, um, where we take the gloves off and we don't pull any punches and we call it like we see it. Uh, fully refundable, though. You can kick the tires over there, take it for a drive for 90 days, and fully refundable, all three $1 charges, first 90 days. Um, no questions asked. There's a $5 level over there as well, if you'd like. There's a few videos over there. We do about once every oh month or two. We'll do a $5 level video. But the vast majority of the videos over there are for the $1 a month level. Because I want to make this available to everyone. It's the minimum level speed bump I'm allowed to put in. Partnering with Vimeo and, and Patreon together. Um, it really does make it almost impossible for the censors to, to get to you. So... I will leave that there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.